Georgia woman plans to sue a hospital after she contracted a flesh-eating bacteria. She was recovering from injuries after an attack by a donkey. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live in DeKalb County, and Richard, doctors had to amputate one of the woman's arms and a leg in order to save her. And this is a photograph we got from her attorney. That is the actual donkey. It critically injured her in that attack, but she says things got even worse at the hospital. I'm not the same person. Not the same. We spoke with Anna Maria Giacomi via Skype in her attorney's office. She had to move in with her son in Miami after the double amputation. It all started on Thanksgiving Day 2015 when she fed this donkey on a commercial farm in North Georgia. She had permission to be there and had fed it for five years, but on that day, it grabbed her and pulled her into its pen. The donkey grabbed my uh, wrist and started biting, chewing, crunching, going up my arm. These are photos of some of those wounds, but they're so graphic we had to blur out most of them. Her attorney, Darren Tobin, says Giacomi endured 11 surgeries in just two months. But he says the hospital didn't realize that his client contracted a flesh eating bacteria until it was almost too late. Doctors had to amputate her leg and her arm. He plans to sue for medical malpractice. So, 11 surgeries in less than two months, and um, she's now a double amputee for the rest of her life, sadly. We found dozens of donkey attack videos on YouTube, and Giacomi says she had no idea they could be so aggressive and unpredictable. Now she had to give up her home in North Georgia and move in with her son in Miami. Every day I wake up, I see this body of mine. I was a productive, independent woman taking care of myself and my animals, and then reduced to what I am now. So I asked her attorney what happened to the donkey. He says he was told that it had moved on to greener pastures. He isn't quite sure exactly what that means, but he does know it's no longer on that farm. We are live in DeKalb County, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.